What's up, YouTube? John, JDS Outdoors. Today's video, I figured we would finally tackle the beautiful White Ranger in all her beautiful white clicking glory. So far, since I've uh, built this truck, put about 4,000 miles or so on it. And kind of getting tired of Grandma walking down the street staring at me and pulling up to the gas station and people looking at me like I'm like I'm a circus freak or something but by all means I guess but the issue with the white stallion is uh, she's got a pretty bad lifter tech pretty bad and it's had it since the day I bought it so I'm gonna just do a little a little quick walk around on this gorgeous piece of high quality Ford engineering and show you kind of how it looks since we've been using it. So the inside here has a little uh, little Rosie the shop dog in it. Still looks pretty clean. I try to try to take care of it because it gets me back and forth to work. I upgraded the old stereo to a uh, to a touch screen with Bluetooth and all that fun stuff. I mean, the body's still pretty clean. Still got this little little dinger, little rust spot on this, both sides, but it don't bother me none at all. Yeah, she's still a beaut. Well, let me show you show you the lifter tick real quick before uh, before it cools off too much, and we can go ahead and. Start tearing it apart. Do my best to get this on camera. So you guys can hear it. Here we go. Yeah, just a little bit of a tick and sometimes it does it sometimes it doesn't sometimes it's super loud sometimes it's quiet like this so let's go ahead and see if we can't figure out what causes this all right first things first let's go ahead and move the dinner away now we can go ahead and start uh, Soaking some of the problematic bolts. With an almost empty can. The old PB blaster. Cool. Let that work for a little bit. Meantime, I'll start removing some more of the plastics and the old uh, intake hose and enjoy the music.
Here's the problem with working on engines. You tear it all apart and you see absolutely no reason why you tore it apart because it looks just fine. You know, the whole camshaft looks good. It's not all like chewed up or nothing. All the rocker arms are tight. I don't see, I don't see nothing wrong. I don't get it. This thing shouldn't sound like a diesel, but it does. It's kind of annoying. Guess next time I'll just buy Tesla or something. So that way you can't hear crap. All right, so I went ahead and checked all of the, the lobes on the camshaft and everything's nice and smooth. I can't really see any damage with that. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is remove and replace all of the lifters and obviously remove the rocker arms and check those too. So with the lobe in the upwards position, you can put a screwdriver in here, just pop them, pop them right out. Of course, now that I say that, it ain't uh, going to come right out, but we'll get there. So we got the rocker out, I've been checking the bearings for any side to side play and they feel pretty good so, so far. I pulled a couple out. I'm keeping these all in, in order. Bearing feels good. So that one was number four. It's got no play, so that's good. I have no idea if this is proper or not, but it's working. Pop out. Seven. Really hoping once I get all these out, Obvious on which lifter is bad. Hopefully. Come on. Don't want to pry on that. Got it finally. Last one. Just had to rotate the 
camshaft a little bit more. But that lifter seems to be stuck up more than the rest of them. I don't know. I think they're like six bucks a piece. I'm just gonna start pulling them out and maybe replace all of them. See what happens. Things are really in there. I don't think they're supposed to be stuck that hard. I think they're supposed to pull out fairly easy. Huh. Well, there lies the problem, right there. This lifter moves up and down. That one moves up and down. That one's tight. That one's up and down. That one's up and down, up and down. So, this one's tight too. So clearly, I don't know how they're supposed to be. I don't know if they're supposed to be tight or loose. But we got an issue. <laughs> Two of them are tight, the rest are loose. None of them are pulling out like they're supposed to. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to order some lifters, replace those, give her an oil change, and see what she sounds like afterwards. I mean, you guys heard what it sounded like when we started, so there's the tech. The lifters, for sure. Alright, so here we have everything laid out. Here's all the uh, roller rocker arms, starting from the front of the engine, working our way back. And our lifters, which aren't very pretty. And I'm pretty positive I found the stuck one. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's obvious or not, but I think I found the stuck one. So... I'm going to go ahead and order these in the morning and new gasket set. And I also, uh, for some reason, on the passenger side of the engine here, all of the spark plugs, the boots for the plug wires broke and stuck on the spark plug. So we're just going to do plugs and wires also because it's there. It makes sense. So... Order those up in the morning, come back in the afternoon, and uh, get this thing thrown back together. So I will see you tomorrow. And we're back with the very next day. So far, I went and picked up all my parts. I got a brand new set of lifters, spark plug wires, plugs, and a gasket set for uh, the valve cover gasket intake manifold gasket throttle body gasket EGR I believe that's all in there so so far what I've done is uh, last night before I went to bed I went and dumped some ATF in uh, each one of the little valve holes or whatever you want to call them I don't know if this is the right way to do it but here's how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna hope it starts if it doesn't I'll buy a new engine but I uh, dumped some ATF in there, let that soak, and I wiped it out today. 
you know, ATF's a really good detergent, clean stuff. And before this engine gets run again, I am going to uh, do an oil change. So I also got the stuff to do an oil change. So I'm not too worried about that in the crankcase. Anywho, so now I am going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to get a little container with oil in it. I'm going to dump each one of the lifters with some oil to lube it up, put it in place, and start putting this thing back together. So uh, that's what's about to happen. Maybe by the end of this video we'll actually have this thing running. Or maybe we'll be pushing it outside into the woods and find an engine for it. Let's uh, find out together what happens. So enjoy the music. So we got half the spark plug wires installed. And uh, tonight's video is filmed in front of a live studio audience. They are very upbeat and having fun. Anyways, so these uh, spark plugs, I'm pretty sure, are the factory spark plugs because some of them are pretty nasty. There's hardly anything left of them. So this will be a nice welcomed 
upgrade. But that's pretty much it for this uh, little check-in session. I'm going to go ahead and throw in the last four spark plug wires and start hooking the uh, intake and whatnots back up. So let's get her done. All right, so the camera died when I was putting the stuff back together. So you're just going to have to take my word for it that it's put back together. Yeah. Anyways, we got the oil draining and concoction of whatever else. Looks like she's just about done. Just got to swap the uh, filter, put in some fresh juice. And then we're going to fire her up, see if she still runs. So that is what we shall do now that I have some battery life back in my camera. has a little bit of a tick that's kind of uh kind of sucks definitely a lot quieter than what it was though huh we'll have to put a few miles on it and see if that helps well here we have the whole thing back together it is uh, significantly quieter than what it was before and it's clearly on the driver's side which is where the injectors are the little ticking that we're hearing now so it could be a noisy injector because without a doubt we fixed the lifter tick it's not uh, it's not nearly as loud as what it was before I'm going to go shut this off So, I'm uh, pretty happy with that. We just got to figure out what that other little ticking is. It's got to be something with the, you know, the ejectors. Or this truck also doesn't have much for an exhaust on it. Might have to, might have to look into that. But we definitely had a stuck lifter, and the lifter tick is definitely fixed because I used to hear it. I used to hear it a lot when I was driving. Now I can't hear it at all. So, I call that a success. Not bad for a $100 fix. New plugs, wires, oil change, uh, gaskets, and new lifters. So, hopefully she's good for another 200,000 miles. We'll keep picking away at the little things that need to be fixed here and there. And film it along the way when it happens. So, if you liked the video or you found this helpful on the little white stallion maybe help you fix your lifters in your truck feel free to give it a like share comment subscribe all that fun stuff so as always thanks for watching jds outdoors